In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can use the keto diet to reverse insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Now, one of the most frequent questions I am asked is, is it possible to totally reverse insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes? And the answer is yes. When most people are diagnosed with either insulin resistance, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes, they are told that these are progressive diseases, that once you have them, they can only be managed, but that they will progressively get worse. And we see this with type 2 diabetics all the time. And that would appear to be the case with type 2 diabetics. They are prescribed insulin to manage their blood sugar. But as years go on, they have to keep increasing their dosage in order to have the same effect. But this is not because type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease. It is because we are treating it wrong and actually making it worse. Insulin resistance, prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes all can be reversed. Reversed to the point where there is no need for metformin, insulin, or any other medication in order to manage blood sugar. And one of the most effective ways to reverse insulin resistance is with diet. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use the keto diet to reverse insulin resistance. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where I share new posts every single day. So before we begin, I just wanna make it clear that insulin resistance is actually the cause of prediabetes and type two diabetes. If you catch insulin resistance early enough, there actually won't be any impact to your fasting blood sugar yet. Your fasting blood sugar will still be within the normal range. However, the longer it goes on and the worse it gets, it will eventually cause your fasting blood sugar to rise. And this is when you'll be diagnosed with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, depending on how far it has gotten. But no matter at what point you catch it, it can be reversed. And this has been observed in numerous clinical trials. No, it isn't just being managed, it can be reversed. And I really want to stress that for the people in the comments section who are going to say that it can't be, it can be, <laughs> it can be. <laughs> now, of course, if you're in the earlier stages of insulin resistance, it's going to be quicker to reverse than if you've gotten to the point where it's full-blown type 2 diabetes. But in any event, you will be able to get there. So I'm going to start off this video quickly recapping what insulin resistance is because that will help you to see how the keto diet can be so effective for reversing it. And then we'll get more into how you can use keto for the best results. What is insulin resistance? So first off, I want to say that insulin resistance is extremely common. It is estimated that up to 88% of the US adult population has insulin resistance. The catch here is that most people don't know they have it and it goes undiagnosed. How do we know so many people have insulin resistance if it goes undiagnosed, you might be asking? Because insulin resistance is the same thing as metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome used to actually be called insulin resistance syndrome. So if you know you have metabolic syndrome, but we're unsure if you have insulin resistance or not, you have it, unfortunately. And in case you're not familiar, metabolic syndrome is characterized by five main components. A large waist circumference, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, high blood pressure, and high fasting blood sugar. If you have three or more of these components, you'll be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome which again is the same as insulin resistance. And I like referring to it as insulin resistance syndrome instead of metabolic syndrome because the label of metabolic syndrome is extremely vague. It doesn't actually tell you anything about what is causing the symptoms. Whereas when we label it insulin resistance or insulin resistance syndrome, we can see that the root of the problem is the body resisting insulin. 
Insulin is a hormone in our body that is responsible for signaling our cells to accept glucose, also known as blood sugar. So when our blood sugar goes up after we eat, the pancreas releases insulin, which takes the excess glucose from our bloodstream to our cells. Insulin resistance is when our cells no longer respond to insulin correctly and cannot easily take in the excess glucose from the blood. This leads to insulin levels remaining higher than they should for longer than they should. And this comes with a bunch of side effects. Excess abdominal fat, skin tags, and dark skin patches, to name a few. And it also causes your HDL cholesterol to decrease and your triglycerides to increase. But why do our cells start resisting insulin in the first place? When we eat food rich in carbohydrates, these foods are broken down by the body into glucose. This glucose enters our bloodstream and causes our blood glucose to rise. Insulin is then released to deal with the excess sugar in the blood, taking it out of the bloodstream and to our cells that need it. And this is a normal function of the body. Our bodies are well equipped to manage an influx in blood sugar when it happens periodically. However, if we are continually eating high carb foods throughout the day, our blood sugar and insulin is constantly rising and insulin might not have a chance to come back down to baseline before we eat again. So even more insulin is pumped out to deal with the blood glucose, which has remained high, and our cells become overwhelmed and start resisting insulin because they are already full with glucose. And this turns into a vicious cycle where high insulin is causing insulin resistance and insulin resistance is causing high insulin. The problem gets continuously worse until it manifests as other diseases. So how can the keto diet help us to reverse insulin resistance? Keto for insulin resistance. Let's first do a quick recap of what the keto diet is. Short for the ketogenic diet, it is a way of eating that is high in dietary fat and low in dietary carbohydrates. By limiting carbs in your diet, the body goes into a state called ketosis, which is where the keto diet gets its name. Ketosis is a metabolic function that is totally normal and healthy. It is when the body is breaking down and using fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. The body usually favors carbohydrates over fat because carbs are a quick source of energy. As we already mentioned, when we eat carbohydrates, they're broken down into glucose or sugar, and they enter our bloodstream. They can either be used for energy immediately, stored as glycogen for later, or stored as fat if your glycogen stores are full. Of course, if the energy is already sitting there in your bloodstream, your body is going to want to use it. So there's no need for your body to tap into your stored fat. Now, when carbohydrates in your diet are low, there isn't this influx of sugar in your bloodstream. And this is when your body will turn to burning fat instead. Fat takes longer for your body to break down and use as energy, but the positive is that your body can store much more of it. Even someone who is very lean has over 100,000 calories of stored energy on their body as fat. And obviously, someone overweight has much more. Now, with stored carbs, glycogen, your body can only store around 2,000 calories worth. So if you're relying on carbs for energy, once they start running out is when you will start to get carb and sugar cravings. And let's be honest, most people nowadays are not very active. You don't need this quick energy from carbohydrates unless you're doing high-intensity activities and at a high level. For everyday activity and low intensity exercise, fat is a better and more consistent energy source. Okay, I got a little bit off track there, but hopefully you're still with me. Now let's get into how the keto diet can help you to reverse insulin resistance. When carbohydrates are low in the diet, blood sugar is stable and there is less of a need for insulin. Because there is less insulin needed, your cells no longer are being overwhelmed by its actions and they can start to become more sensitive to it again, thus reversing your insulin resistance. And it really is as simple as that. Keep your insulin low and your insulin resistance will start reversing. Bonus points if you incorporate some intermittent fasting as well. And I will link a video up above that talks more about that. How to start keto. Okay, so now we have determined that the keto diet is great for reversing insulin resistance, but how do you start? Basically, the foods that you want to base your diet around are going to be low in carbohydrates, 
obviously, and higher in protein and fat. These foods include meat such as beef, chicken, and pork, fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, eggs and high-fat dairy such as cheese, butter, and cream, non-starchy vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, and asparagus, low-sugar fruit such as avocado, berries, and coconuts, and nuts and seeds in low quantities. An example of what you might eat in a day might be an omelette with cheese and mushrooms for breakfast, a salad with smoked salmon and olive oil for lunch, a steak with butter and asparagus for dinner. Simple as that. Now, when it comes to reversing insulin resistance, snacks are not your friend. Remember, the goal is to keep insulin low. And yes, less insulin is needed when you aren't eating carbohydrates, but some will be released anytime you eat. So if you stick to eating all of your calories at your meal times and avoid snacks as much as possible, you're gonna see better results. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video on how to reverse insulin resistance with the keto diet helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have tried the keto diet before and what your experience was. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section. I try to answer as many questions as I can within the first couple of hours after I post a video. So if you have a question, now is the time to ask. And if you did enjoy this video, well, first off, thank you for watching, but you might also enjoy my video where I do a grocery haul for insulin resistance. I will link that video right here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my keto diet and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.